Today, we are at the Cleveland Museum of Art in Cleveland, Ohio. My goal is to try to find my favorite pieces in the museum. Hopefully, I will find some new artists that I haven't heard of before that I can learn a little bit more about. Let's see what's inside. This is called the Racetrack, or Death on a Pale Horse, and it's a painting by Albert Pinkham Ryder. When I saw this painting, I knew it had to be one of my picks. I've only ever seen it in books, but it's always been one of my favorite paintings. As a kid, I always loved scary stories, and this painting reminds me of those stories. It's dark and spooky with a ghostly protagonist. Bull Skull Fruit Pitcher by Pablo Picasso. There were a lot of Picasso paintings to choose from in this museum, but this one stood out for me because of the bull skull. I used to have a bull skull in my classroom and I drew it a lot, so I appreciate the amount of details that you can see in the skull. The cracks, the holes, and even tiny details in the teeth. This painting's title is Script for an Impossible Documentary Part 1, The Great Invisibles, and it was painted by Jerome Kamrowski. I hadn't heard of this artist before, so I did a little research and found out that he was a surrealist. And I really like the mark making in this painting. There are layers and layers of different marks. This is the kind of painting that I can stare at and just appreciate the depth that you can find in the materials, looking beyond the white to the black and the gray that lies beneath. This labyrinth mola panel is from Panama. The contrast in the extremely bright lines against the dark background make everything in this picture look so vibrant. My eyes just wander around the picture following the lines, but my eyes always end at a shape that looks a lot like a figure. This figure shape reminds me a lot of the kind of figures you would see in a Keith Haring painting. This is a ram mask from Burkina Faso in Africa, and it's made from wood. I'm a big fan of masks, and this mask is just perfect to me. All of the parts work well together, and it's not overloaded with too much information. But I think my favorite thing about this mask is that it's slightly asymmetrical. The ears and the horns are the same, but they're at slightly different angles on each side. And I think that makes it work so well. Open-mouthed Guardian King. This statue was made in Japan in the 1200s, and it's also made of wood. I was surprised to see that it was made of wood because of how large it is. But when you look closely, you can see the grain of the wood in the statue. I really like that detail. Now originally it was painted and it was holding a weapon and I imagine it was probably very powerful looking in that state. Wow. First, there is so much artwork here at the Cleveland Museum of Art. I was not expecting that. It's awesome, of course, but I sure hope that I can get through it all before they close today. Second, remember these are my favorites and you might like completely different artwork than me. And sometimes the collection changes at the museum and that can affect the things that you get to see when you come. Today, the Contemporary Gallery happens to be closed, so I know that's going to affect the 10 pieces that I pick while I'm here today. And that's fine. Next time I come, I might pick a completely different set of 10 pieces, depending on how I feel that day and what's on view. That's kind of the fun of coming to a museum that's as big as this place that has so many different things to see. Sometimes you find things that you never saw before, and it might have been there all along. And third, this museum is so full of artwork because different people like different things, and that's great. You can learn a lot from listening to other people's opinions and trying to appreciate their perspective. Now let's get back in there and finish finding our favorites. Hunting near Hartenfell's Castle. This painting by Lucas Cranach the Elder was made in 1540. It reminds me a lot of a Hieronymus Bosch painting because it has so many small characters in the picture. It's filled with action happening. But one of the things that I noticed that really works well 
is the way that all of the objects appear so bright and they stand out because there's dark surrounding a lot of the objects. A lot of the leaves and branches you can see have dark shadows behind them. The Large Plain Trees by Vincent Van Gogh. This painting attracted my attention for two reasons. One, it's about trees. Trees have always been one of my favorite things to draw because no matter which tree you draw, it's always different from any other tree you've ever drawn before. But also, the colors in this painting are very interesting. It's mostly blues and yellows, which are not the typical colors you would use if you were painting a picture of trees. And then I found this Egyptian coffin from around 900 BC. I don't think I've ever noticed the inside of one of these coffins before. It's absolutely filled with artwork. It's interesting because it's drawn in layers, which kind of reminds me a little bit of a comic strip. But then, there's even more decoration on the outside of the coffin. Desert Rock Garden by Gustav Bowman, which is a color woodcut with aluminum leaf. I noticed two things immediately about Gustav Bowman. One, he was a printmaker, which was my concentration in college. And two, he would include other materials in his prints, like this metal leaf. Included in the Gustav Bowman exhibit is this awesome display of the printmaking process. First, each color block is printed individually, but then you can see each step in a multicolor woodblock print as a new color is added in each picture until it reaches completion. That was the Cleveland Museum of Art in Cleveland, Ohio. There were a lot of great artworks to choose from. I think I found some really good ones. Um, but if you're ever this way in Cleveland, you should check it out because there's so much more to see. A lot of really great artists, a lot of artists you've heard of before, and a lot of new artists you might want to learn a little bit more about. So I will try to do another one of these museum videos soon. Adios.